Hi everybody, this is Jim Prusak, physical therapist and owner of The Pain PT. And today we're going to talk about the one word I use over and over again when it comes to chronic pain. And that word is relax. I feel like this one word encompasses so many things with what we're trying to do with chronic pain. And the answer when we have pain is to relax, to learn how to relax into pain learn how to relax our minds and our bodies so we can heal. This is so important when it comes to chronic pain. We know that chronic pain is really complex. We know that it does so many things to our body that it really affects our minds, our thoughts, our feelings, it has such an impact on our lives. And really what happens with pain is it, it makes us more stressed. Chronic pain is a stressor. We may also have life stressors too, from family, from work, financial. So we have all these things that can be stressors. And when we're stressed, what happens is that activates our sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight or flight system. And when this system gets activated, it's meant to protect us from a threat. It's meant to uh, protect us from anything that might be harmful or dangerous to us. So this system gets activated with chronic pain and many times stays activated with chronic pain. And so when we're in the sympathetic nervous system state, this fight or flight state, we're not relaxed. We're actually in the opposite position. And when we have pain, our bodies want to protect us. It's a biological response. So very often we stay stuck in this state but as we know with chronic pain, it's not a dangerous condition. It's not a threatening condition. Chronic pain is not a physical injury. It's not a physical problem like we see with acute pain. We know, if you watch some of my other YouTube videos at the Pain PT, that chronic pain is more of a brain and nervous system issue than a physical issue. And so what we're talking about here is we're talking about relaxing so we can move out of this sympathetic nervous system state from this fight or flight state to a more relaxed state. We actually want to choose to open the door to relaxation. We want to close the door to stress, which is our sympathetic system, and open the door to this parasympathetic nervous system. And we do this when we relax. When we can consciously relax our system in the face of pain, what that's doing, it's activating our parasympathetic nervous system. It's changing how we feel. It's changing the chemicals that are being released in the body. It's causing the muscles to become looser, less tense, and it's actually going to make us feel better. This parasympathetic nervous system is actually part of the healing state. And when we activate it through relaxation, we activate the healing state. And so this is how we start to get better. We need to tilt the balance from stress towards relaxation. And it starts with consciously relaxing ourselves in the face of pain. Anytime we have pain or pain rears its head, it should signal to you as an alarm to relax. That is the answer to pain, is to relax. Because otherwise, if we're not doing that, our system is ramping up with more protection, more fight or flight, more tension. So we need to override this system. And we do this in two different ways. The first way is to relax the actual body, the physical tissues. So we need to learn how to soften our bodies into pain. If I feel pain in my knee, for example, I need to direct my attention of my brain and mind there to soften, send a message to help those muscles around the knee relax, tell it to relax. If I have a back pain, learning to soften my back and belly, to not hold my breath, to let my belly hang out more. Same thing with neck pain and shoulder pain, to relax the shoulders, to learn to relax those muscles of the body. I call this wet noodling. I need to learn how to become a wet noodle in the face of pain. Because when we do this, we're sending an actual physical message to our nervous system to say, this is okay. 
when I can relax into the pain, it's sending a message that the pain is okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. There isn't a threat. There's no danger. And that brain and that nervous system gets that message over time. And it starts to actually activate this parasympathetic system for us. But we need to take the first steps to learn to relax our physical tissues, relax our, our body in the face of pain. The second part of relaxation is learning to relax our minds. And this is our thoughts. This is our feelings and emotions. We need to just relax into what we notice happening. That whatever our thoughts arise, if they're negative thoughts, we can just let those thoughts go. We don't have to believe them. They're not real. They're just a reaction to the pain. It's like a learned habit. So when we relax our minds, what we're essentially doing is we're turning off that sympathetic nervous system through the brain and we're turning on that parasympathetic rest and digest system which sends completely different messages into the body. When we say we're okay, we tell ourselves we're fine, we tell ourselves that pain is not a problem, we're actually learning to relax the mind around it. And when we do that, we start to heal. So we need to learn to relax both the body and the mind for healing, and especially with chronic pain. So when we do this, when we get into this relaxation state, it's a state of allowance. It's a state of openness. It's like watching the clouds pass in the sky. And the clouds can be our pain. The clouds can be our negative thinking. The clouds can be our negative feelings and emotions that come with chronic pain. We want to be open. We want to be just a witness to these things passing. These are typically clouds that will move in and out of us if we let it. When we relax our bodies, it gives us the space for this energy to move in and out of us. It gives us better blood flow, better circulation, better nerve flow. It allows things and acids and toxins to be flushed out of the body. So we want to allow the pain clouds to pass. And the only way we can do this is through relaxation. We need to learn how to relax in the face of pain. So to sum it up again, if I had to come back to only one word I could use for chronic pain, it would be relax. Thank you very much, everybody. Please sign up for my Pain PT channel if you're interested in more upcoming videos. If you like some of the stuff, please give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to spread the word and get the message out there for people to heal. Take care now.